All right, so good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another day of Carpal Tunnel. Today, I'll start by saying if I'm a little bit more smooth-brained than normal, it's simply because I was up super late, for those that may have missed it. Last night, we did another Terraria stream with Jaden and Kelsey, and what a barrel of laughs, all right? I love streaming with those two. It's always a good time, but I am shattered today. Not only am I shattered, I'm also melting. Yeah, it's like a heat wave here in Britain. And I think by the end of today, I might finally actually be uh, a soup. Yeah, that's right. A soup. Anybody got a straw? Hopefully not. Right. Um, welcome back. <laughs> so today, I've got a few things I want to get done. Number one, I want that King Slime item. So I've got two more spawners. I'm going to run through them really quickly. But there's always potential for more. I also want to sort up magic sort up set up all right you know what i mean i want to set up magic storage as well so uh so we're a little bit more organized and then finally the eye of cthulhu that's right the eye of cthulhu okay right i'm gonna get cracking on first thing we're gonna do is king slime yeah king slime yeah i got two spawners and i got a spawn potion because i need to get some diamonds so that i can uh go and check out magic storage and blah 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 all right any diamonds i'll tell you the truth all right <laughs> i recorded five minutes of this episode with my microphone muted all right <laughs> so so that's how my morning's going how's your morning going for real actually how is your morning going well how's your day going because i know look i say good morning at the start a lot of you are like come on james it's three in the morning and uh well <laughs> it's seven at night i've just settled down i've got a bevy or a hot chocolate. I don't know. What are you doing? <laughs> but yeah, okay, right. We're going to run through the King Slime. So this is my first attempt doing the King Slime with a, a jungle clicker. It's pretty good. Yeah, I like it. I don't know if it's faster necessarily. Here's the thing. That explosion effect that we had before was just so good. So it's, it's kind of hard to compete. But as always, we've just got to be careful not to let the King Slime jump on us and to use our... Movement skills to our advantage. All right, there we go. All right, yeah, keep spawning on the left, buddy. <laughs> that works out really well for me. So yesterday was the big day. Finally got a hold of all of the office furniture. And here's the thing. I set myself a goal. I was like, right, try and get it all built within one day and set up so that it looks good on the live stream. And I tell you what, I did a pretty banging job of it. I built so much yesterday. Uh, and it looks good in here now. I actually have a chippy's couch. Like, how amazing. I still need a few little, like, accessories to, to tie the room together, to be honest. Um, but once that's done, I will put out a video and I'll show you all the office and, you know, give you the full tour and all that. Because, well, I've been talking about it for so long. I can't just, like, not show it. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? No, that'd be, that'd be pretty awful. Right. Um, we didn't get it, unfortunately. Uh, I am going to sell this now, so... I'll take the, oh, actually, yeah, I'll take the slimy saddle and I'll sell the rest, all right? This is how we play the rest of the game now. <laughs> I don't need, I don't need these, so I'm, yeah, I'm just gonna flog them. Uh, but let me quickly do the, uh, let me do the other one. All right, so we're coming up to the end here. Uh, hopefully we get it. Here's the thing, I don't know if it just drops or it's in a treasure bank, which is a little bit unfortunate, because I don't know what to, what to fully expect. All right, there we go. It's done. Bam. Did we get it? No, unfortunately not. I don't know whether to, to give up on it. Maybe I won't give up on it, but we'll, yeah, we'll just wait a little bit and do some more when we get the, the stuff and all that. Right. Okay, I'm just going to go quickly flog these, come back, grab the rest and flog that. Actually, do you know what? I'm going to do two more. Yeah, I'm going to do two more, mainly because I feel like I'm kind of committed at this point, right? I really need to see what this item is. And I imagine it, it's probably not the best item in the world. But yeah, if it's from the clicker class, we need to obtain it. Actually, never mind, all right? Scrap that. I can only do one more because I don't have enough gel. And you would think after all those king slimes, I'd be rolling in it. But no, apparently not. All right. Let me go quickly do this one. And hopefully this is the one. I don't know, though. Like, <laughs> being honest, probably not. We haven't had the best luck so far. It might be, it might be a rear drop, to be fair. Like, I could imagine that. So I'm just trying out the uh, the butterfly click method. It's pretty good. It's not bad. It made me laugh because when I, when I referenced it before, somebody was like, "Yeah, clearly, some of the some of the couch members are a uh, Minecraft PVPers." Is that like a big Minecraft PVP thing? I could imagine it. Yeah, it's pretty. It works pretty well, to be honest. 
I don't know if it's... No, no, it's definitely faster. Mainly because I think by now I wouldn't have dropped this much health on the King Slime. And I've been starting at the same point. Oh, that works really well. The only thing is, if I got in a bad situation and I needed to use my grappling hook, I think I would be... I think I'd be screwed. <laughs> okay, right. Uh, Almost there. All right, would you say that was the fastest one? I would. All right, I've gone back to normal clicking. Let me try again. Oh, it is cool. Yeah, it does work. It's pretty cool. Right, I'm killing all these slimes. I really need this gel. <laughs> okay, 50, only 50 blue slimes. Really? Wow. That's actually pretty interesting. Okay, right. Let's see if we got it. Bam. <gasps> we got it. Right, sticky keychain. Every 10 clicks sticks damaging slime on your screen. Ah, very cool. Very cool. I'll tell you what. I'll get rid of the, uh, the band of regen for that one. Yeah, all right. So let me go quickly sell everything, and um, and then yeah, the next thing I want to do is, I mainly want to. Oh man, I really like that hat. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping that. Yeah, mainly I just want to um, get magic storage sorted out. So we, we're off mining. If I didn't say, I don't think I said. Oh yeah. So what do we need? We actually don't need just diamonds. We also need emeralds as well. All right. So I've got to, I've got to try and remember that. I think honestly, the best thing I could probably do is grab a, uh, is grab an extractor at this point because I have so much stuff to extract. Like I feel like it'd be all right. Is that okay? That is normal. <laughs> I was like, why does that look so strange? It's obviously because uh, I wasn't holding out a torch. All right, I'm gonna get mining about. Yeah, this is the area I found before the episode began. Looks cool, right? It's pretty sick. It's awesome to think that underneath the house the whole time was just a really sick blue mushroom biome. Like, I quite like the idea of that. All right, we, we live in a cool spot. So with this life crystal, bam, we now have full health. Yeah, that's right. Feels good. Uh, so yeah, I think I think today we are 100% ready for, uh, for for the Eye of Cthulhu. Like, we're not going to have any problems at all. As if that diamond pile was only one diamond. Like, what a, what a massive letdown. I need a, I think I need three of them, and I think I need seven or eight uh, emeralds. And I'm not finding emeralds, because every time I go to an emerald, it ends up being a sapphire. Oh, wow. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, my God. Right. I didn't, I didn't think there was any clickers left to find at this point. So, I, I like, I wasn't expecting it. Oh, my God. What a stacked chest. So, not only do we get the full mushroom outfit, all right? We, we be looking like Toadstool. I love it. We also get a brand new clicker, the Mycelium clicker, and uh, we get the Suspicious Looking Eye, amazing, and another Bandar Regem, which I will flog. That's so cool. All right, so what to do? 11 click damage, so not as good, okay? Sorry about that weird jump cut there. My voice went, <laughs> so I was like, oh, I can't talk. All right. So every 10 clicks you get spores, and we also get the uh, the st sticky gel or whatever it's called. All right, smooth brain, smooth brain. Ah, very cool. All right, so the difference is free click damage. I'm going to use it for a bit because, like, why not? Why not? How do we look with this, uh, with this setup right here? Oh, we look kind of cool. I kind of like it. Oh, we're the Mushroom King. I love it. Yeah, that's sick. That's so sick. I just wasn't uh, I just wasn't expecting to, to find anything new. So it made it even sweeter. It's so funny as well, right? Because as I approached that chest, in the back of my mind, I was thinking about 1.4. And I was thinking, I imagine there are still things I haven't seen in 1.4. Mainly because there's a lot of things that are just kind of rare. Or you just don't see pop up every now and again. Like, and I was thinking to my own, this is for real. I was thinking subconsciously, I was like... Like the, the mushroom armor. Like, I've only ever had that once on the mushroom set. And then what did I find, all right? I think I pretty much just willed it into existence. So I'm not really having any luck with diamonds, by the way. Uh, what are those? Are those diamonds? Did I just will something else into existence? Please tell me I did. All right, I've got to find this out now. I'm going to get down there and they're probably rubies, knowing my luck. Oh my god. <laughs> what is this? All right, what's going on? Am I being hoodwinked? Am I being pranked? Wow. Um, so there we go. 12 diamonds. Okay, so is this kind of amazing or what? Alright. Um, 
Okay, so we're going to do magic storage then real quick. So the first thing we want to do is make a storage heart. So bam, that is now done. And then we also want to make a crafting interface. Wow, we needed a we needed a lot of a lot of diamonds for that. Right. Uh, let's also grab from these uh, some chests. Now there could be any chests, admittedly, uh, but I will grab gold. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to turn the storage components that we had into storage units. So I'm I'm talking you through this, by the way, for anybody that's never played a uh, modded Terraria. So I've got this house right here. So the storage heart is essentially where you place all your items in. And the crafting one is what you click on when you want to uh, basically craft something. Okay. Now that might be broken. I don't know if you could see that, but my vanity was removed. So all we want to do is, when we want to put stuff in, is we just dump it in. And literally that simple. It's really good. I really do like uh, magic storage a lot. It makes things really convenient. Especially for me as a Let's Player. You know, I'm not very organized. And uh, and because of that, people yell at me. <laughs> so, so this is like kind of amazing for me. All right, I'm going to move everything across. I'll maybe make a, a couple more. And we'll go from there. So, everything is now set up. Everything is nice. Everything is organized. Honestly, I wish the same was for my office, all right? I feel like after I'm done recording today, I should probably head out and buy some storage, like, baskets and stuff. Because I have got storage units now, but everything's just kind of scattered about in there. And it's already kind of driving me mad, all right? Okay, so, um, now that that is all done, what do we do? I think... I think we we head to head to bed. All right, head to bed, and I, I say we just do the Eye of Cthulhu. Like, let's just let's crack on with it. It's going to be fun. Uh, we're going to get a new clicker out of it. We are definitely we're definitely ready at this point. I mean, like for example, we got uh, wings, we got speedy boots, we got a double jump, we got some clicker accessories, we got a great clicker. So everything's uh yeah everything's good. Tell you what, let me quickly grab. Uh, that bottle from this table because I'm also going to make uh, an iron skin as well just to just to be safe But yeah, this series I just, I'm, I'm honestly just so pleased with how it's going Like it's been a yeah, it's been a, a, a wonderful surprise because I didn't know how it'd be a uh, uh, Like received because it's kind of light modded, but I think that's been really fun in itself so after the Eye of Cthulhu, are we meant to do the Old One's Army? Or do we do the Old One's Army after Skeletron? Let me know, Wiki Gang. all right? Be on it. Because I really want to do Old One's Army. I want, I'll, genuinely, I just want to do it all. I just want to, like, experience as much of, of 1.4 as possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a, uh, just a long uh, row here. Just so that we can um, do the fight and, you know, be all right with it. Right, so time for the Eye of Cthulhu. I'm very excited about this. I do hope, though, genuinely, that my, my tiredness will not ruin the fight. It's, honestly, it's grating on me already, all right? I'm so tired. Do you know what? I'm off back to bed. <laughs> for real, though, I wish. I wish. I can't do that anymore. I was really good at that as a teenager. I'd be like, oh, man, I'm tired. I'm off back to bed for an hour. Wake up seven hours later. Feeling amazing. Not anymore, all right? I am grown. I am a man. I have uh, adult responsibilities. I don't really, though. I don't really have any responsibilities. <laughs> My responsibility is, is making sure that in this little 20-minute slot, you'll have a great time, all right? That's all I aim for. So I'm actually doing the uh, the double click right now, the butterfly thing. Is that it? I referenced it earlier, and now I can't even remember the name. That's <laughs> how tired I am. I'm doubting my own, um, doubting my own knowledge. Alright, so I'm butterfly clicking or whatever it's called. I'm going for it. Scissor clicking, is that it? Because it's like two little sides to a blade, I don't know. Alright, I'm, I'm really going for it. My plan is... Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, this actually works out really well. I'll tell you what, I can play Terraria like this pretty well, actually. I guess it makes sense because at the end of the day, where would my mouse even be if not on this button? Do you know what I mean? Where would my... Sorry, where would my finger be? I don't know what I'm talking about. Leave me alone. <laughs> Please, do not judge my tiredness. I asked kindly. Okay, this is actually going really bad. Mainly because I'm not uh, turning around fast enough. Right, I'm going to stop her uh, with the clicking. Well, not entirely. <laughs> this might be a bit of a done run if I did. But I'm going to stop with the special clicking. So I wonder if those little uh, spore sacks or slimy sticky things are actually like having a big impact. 
It's kind of hard to tell, to be honest. All right, I'm I'm dead. I was going to say, if, if I was going to survive that, I would have to have uh, gone to the nurse. And I feel like I don't have it in me. I don't have it in me to, to cheat like that. I think that's the first time I've died to the Eye of Cthulhu in a really long time that isn't Fargo soul mod. Ah, uh, this feels natural again. All right, uh, buff up. Did I, did I buff up before? I'm going to assume no. All right, I'm going to assume no. And that's why we died, all right? Easy excuse, I know. <laughs> I, I, what I need to be doing is making sure I'm grabbing the, the cookie this time. All right, where is it? It's there. Oh, man, I genuinely do really like cookies, you know? They are actually really nice. <laughs> Maybe I'll get some. Maybe that will perk me up today. Maybe that will wake me up. The sugary rush of a chocolate chip. I can dig it. Okay, come on. Here we go. I want to... There you go. I just want to try to get the, the blue slimy stuff just, just on it. Do you know what I mean? So, it's in the path. Okay, so I'm, I'm doing the butterfly clicking thing, by the way. Maybe I should have a mouse cam. <laughs> a little mouse cam. Yeah, I like that. So you can see nothing but my, just me clicking on the mouse. That's all you can see. I love it. Yeah, it's a great idea. All right, this time I'll try to be a little bit more... Um, yeah, I'll try to be a little bit more careful. Because this is already kind of grim. <laughs> I don't. I honestly just don't trust myself now I've died the once. All right, it's knocked all my confidence. Okay, oh my god, mate. I tell you what, you, you actually start to feel your wrist warm up when you play games like this. Like, my wrist is very warm right now. <laughs> I feel like I've gone for a run, <laughs> but just on my poor little wrist. Okay, all the NPCs are dying and back to butterfly clicking. Come on, let's go. We win by butterfly clicking and nothing but. Come on. Here we go. Bam. It's done. It's done. Awesome. Right. Bam. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, right. So I tell you what we're going to do. First thing we're going to do is... Yeah, let's slap this down. A little, a little record of our achievements. Everyone's dead, so there's nobody around to clap anymore, unfortunately. Uh, Shield of Cthulhu, I don't feel like I need it, truthfully. I don't feel like I need it. I'm going to put it away for now. Wait, did I? I opened the treasure bag, didn't I? Right, so let's make some demonite bars. And then I should be able to make uh, a new clicker. So let me have a little look. I don't know what it's called. It's probably Nightmare. Oh, Dark Clicker. Okay. So, 12 click damage, uh, 8 clicks give you a dark burst, and 10 clicks, as before, gives you the sticky keychain. Alright, I'll make it. Wow. Wow, thanks, Terraria. Alright, we make another one. Pro! Oh, I like that. So, the pro is 13, you get 10% extra damage, critical strike chance, you get a lot of it. You get a lot of it. So, it's not as good as the jungle clicker, right? The jungle clicker is actually better because it's 14 in comparison to 13 and they're both eight clicks that's really interesting i would have uh, i would have thought this one would be better to be honest but hey it is what it is you know so next up will be uh maybe the queen bee yeah maybe the queen bee um but yeah let me know about the uh the old ones army i want to do it at the right time oh no i might do a uh, old one Eater of Worlds next. I think Eater of Worlds is going to be a right laugh. I think that's going to be good. Right, so I'm going to wrap it up there for today's episode. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you can, as always, give the video a big fat thumbs up. Um, do not leave the video unless that thumbs up is blue. Uh, but no, for real, thanks for supporting the series, guys. Uh, that's it, right? I'll see you all tomorrow for, um, for another episode of Carpal Tunnel. Right, have a good one, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.